I'm Anita Horgarth. Buck melanoma. Molly Russell's wart. Not her wart. Not her wart. I'm I'm the wart. She's my tumor. My my growth. My uh, my pimple. I'm Uncle Wart. Just old Buck Wart Russell. That's what they call me. Or uh, melanoma head. They'll call me that. Melanoma head's coming. I'm sorry. Uncle. Maisie Russell's uncle. I'm her uncle. <laughs> her, uh, her mother uh, set up this conference with you. I'm assistant principal here, as you've probably noticed from the indications on the door. This door? You the mean, outer door. The outer door? Yes. Because there's nothing on this one. <laughs> That's just about enough of that. Sorry. I've been an educator for 31.3 years, and in that time, I've seen a lot of bad eggs. I say eggs because at the elementary level, we are not dealing with fully developed individuals. I see a bad egg when I look at your niece. She is a twiddler, a dreamer, a silly heart. She is a jabber box. And frankly, I don't think she takes a thing in her life or her career as a student seriously. She's only six. That is not a valid excuse. I hear that every day and I dismiss it. I don't think I want to know a six-year-old who isn't a dreamer or a silly heart. And I sure don't want to know one who takes their student career seriously. I don't have a college degree. I don't even have a job. <laughs> Does anyone have a special story to tell a class about something that happened this week? Maisie. My uncle was microwaving my socks and the dog threw up on the couch for about an hour. Honest? Yes. Why was your uncle microwaving your socks? He can't get the goddamn washing machine to work. Blasphemer! But I know a good kid when I see one. Because they're all good kids until dried out, brain-dead skags like you drag them down and convince them they're no good. You so much as scowl at my niece or any other kid in this school and I hear about it and I'm coming looking for you. Take this quarter. Go downtown and have a rap gnaw that thing off your face. <laughs> 